All right, look at that. Wow, these things look way better. A little bit of dirt on the, the mower deck, you know, some of the chipped paint, but wow, this one looks really good. This came out fantastic. Steve and Jim back with the Ziggy Brothers, of course. It's raining today. Look at how dark it is. It's early. Oh, well, it's, what's it, 6.30? It was getting light at 5. Yeah. 5.15, and now it's getting, uh, the leaves are starting to change colors a little bit. Yeah, and uh, what's our first task on the list here? Get rid of this junker. Get rid of this old piece of junk. This was the Homedale truck that I uh, switched a lot of parts over to the Bronco, but this truck doesn't run. We don't know what's wrong with it. And uh, it's old and it's been sitting for over, what was the inspection, 2009? Yeah, it's been sitting for like 13 or 14 years. Yeah. You got it really cheap. You stole your parts that you didn't ask permission for off of my truck. Um, and now we're scrapping it. <laughs> yeah, but we'll get, we'll make some profit on it. We kept the, we kept the stainless, the uh, aluminum cap off the back which is perfect shape this is kind of new or maybe i don't know yeah show that later but you're gonna move that truck and then we'll take this truck this this where am i moving to just go out go park it behind the dump truck maybe or something <laughs> We're gonna have to get that changed out real soon. We're almost at five. We got a big branch down at the end of the driveway. Look at the branch. Look at this thing. You got a headlight out too. Your headlight. What? Your headlight. Oh, I hit it. You don't want someone to steal your headlight. You can hide it. Yeah. Hopefully we should be getting somewhere around 600, 650 bucks for this thing. What do we do? We got something, we got 682 for the last one. Yeah, it was uh, almost identical. It, it is identical, much. right? Yeah. That wasn't an extended cap, the other one was No, it was a single cap. No, it was an extended cap, I think. Yeah, so they were both single. Was it? Oh yeah, okay. This one, that's the same truck. Yeah, the, the same gasser. Same engine and everything. Yep. Uh, this one just has some mercier parts off of a Ford Bronco on it. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, yeah they I've should. been dying to get rid of this truck since the day we got it. Instead, it didn't work and we knew it was going to scrap. We've been waiting on the title. And yeah. uh, I'm just happy to get it the heck out of the way. It opens up another spot. Yeah. And we get paid for taking it to the junkyard, so that's pretty cool. Sozo, -so, did we do good at scrap? We did pretty good. Yeah, we did good. Triple our money? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What did we get? We got 590? Yeah, I think so. We call it 600. Good. We bought it for 200. We didn't scrap the plow either yet. Yeah. We got and uh, the, cap. the cap. Let's look at this cap real quick. I guess we don't even know what we totally made yet. This cap we took off that truck for free. We need the power wash. We got like, will the door open in the back? I don't know. Yeah, this is a good, this is a good service cap. It's yeah. clean. 
It'll shape up nice with a power wash. Comes with all the clamps and everything. But we kept this. We got $600 for the truck and scrap. We kept the plow off of the truck, which probably gonna just, I don't know. To Myers, right? Yeah, I don't know what it's gonna. It's, it's, it's gonna might fit be, an old truck. Yeah, it's it might gonna, be scrap. I don't know. I don't know. But we tripled our money on the truck just by taking it to the junkyard, and then we saved this. And we're gonna get probably a minimum of 500 bucks for this. I think so. Wash. Since it's a full enclosed one. Probably more than that. Yeah. Uh, we'll shoot for a thousand bucks. If we get five, six hundred, we'll be happy. We'll make it thousand or eleven hundred. Yeah. Off of that specific vehicle. It's not that. But that's not. The whole and I got to see all the parts. Yeah, Jim stole the parts for his uh, clunker back there, or whatever it's called, the clanky. Yeah. Um, the main focus of today's video is the obvious thing sitting here. X Mark Navigators. Do we know the years on them or no? No. Um, we just know that they have kind of identical hours. A this thousand? one, uh, this one's nineteen hundred. Oh, okay, that one's a thousand. Yeah, so this one was a little bit more used, but but they're identical uh, in the machines other than the mower yeah. deck size. The they tires, have twenty-seven horsepower on them. I mean, this looks like a better wheel than that. Like you could swap them. Yeah. Make one good and sell the other one with it for parts, or possibly get them both working. That's not the obvious goal. These things have been sitting though. I mean, it needs this. The seat's seat is... stiff. That's the seats are both seen better days. The blower fan's in good shape. Who knows about the hydros? But, like uh, we were saying with the with the Xmark Explorer thing, though, th that we had the the chute is not attached to the seat, so the seat flips up separate like, from the dumper. I like that better. I do too. Because it, it all gets stuck in the platform of the walker and it rots and it out. And guess what? We're not going to look into this because we already bought these before, yeah, five, six years ago, and we went right back to the walker. Yeah. Uh, but walker should look into switching it to this. Yeah. Maybe making the pins on the walker deck a little bit heavier and replaceable. Yeah. But besides that, the walker's our machine that we go to. I do like on this machine, it does look a lot heavier duty. It doesn't look like the frame, like we'll have frame problems like the walkers. No, but once again, you have to swing this fuel tank open to get to the belts. Yeah. Which we had problems with ours falling off like crazy under warranty multiple times. Um, and it, it's just so heavy. That's a plus and a minus of the frame being so much thicker. I mean, we know what the walker looks like in the garage and the ones we have, but look how thick this is. Yeah. It makes it so heavy, so if the property's wet or you just got a heavy rain, the walker kind of just glides over it because it's thinner and it weighs less. This, I don't know how much the weight difference is, but this thing was rutting up the lawn, even if you switch directions. Um, like that one summer, it rained every single day. Say it rained Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday, Tuesday, Thursday excessive flooding and everything we have to cut it or it's just going to keep growing be five feet tall but these things were running up the lawns and i don't know it's just too heavy in my opinion but yeah. walker should steal this idea having the chute separate yeah. in the seat and maybe making their pins a little bit beefier yeah. and replaceable instead of having them welded onto the deck uh, but besides that the walker we have no complaints other than the price of a new one yeah what are um, these run now do you know I don't know. I know when we bought it, 2015, it was like 15 grand. Okay. Maybe 14. Yeah. But I'm assuming they're more now. They're probably 17, 18, 19. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. You notice they kept the motor though in the same orientation as before. They don't have it like a Walker mower. Yeah. I mean, the... this has a. I don't like this at all. Yeah. Because like you gotta flip this open and then you gotta line the belts with like a straight edge and get everything lined up perfectly. And they're hidden under there. So like the walker's right here to switch all the belts. It takes two seconds to yeah. do whichever belt you want to do. But um, I mean the hopper's a little bit thicker, which is better. It's plastic, so that's a little bit more heavy duty. And it seems like the deck is so much taller. You know what I mean? Yeah. That it has such more has a lot more vacuum. At least yeah. with the one we the brand new ones we had, like I said, 2015. You could hear it too that it had more vacuuming power. But uh, the belts kept falling off. Single tail wheel? Do they, or do they offer the split tail wheel? I don't think they do. Um. For the X Mark and the Toro ones. But uh, if it's flat free, let's just keep it one wheel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The ones on the walker with the, the dual wheels that have air in them, one goes flat all the time. You hit something, it pops off. Um, and then if you have one wheel that takes air and it goes flat, you're screwed. <laughs> yeah. Because in the back of the machine's down like this. And that's when you start getting into like frame issues when this gets really heavy with wet grass or just regular grass in general but if this is flat it's kind of sitting down and uh 
that's stressing on the frame and everything. But uh, Walker should put a flat free tire in it too. But. And there's the belts, right? The double setup. Yeah. They have two belts running. Two single belts running the, the blades. And then I guess it's just one belt for the for the actual drive. I guess. Yeah, it's one belt for the drive, but two single belts. And they were getting all wrapped up in, it, in itself. I tried fixing the new one we had by ourselves, and it would work. And then it would fall off. And then the dealer was do it, did it two or three times under warranty. And we had some other miscellaneous problems. It wasn't horrible, but I'm like, screw this. And we sold them. I don't know. We sold them, took a little bit of a loss, but we bought. A, I bought a brand new Walker. What is that? That's an Edger blade. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. The brand new Walker we bought was after we bought these in 2015. The Toro Direct Collect Z, which is the same thing as the X Mark Navigator, just a different name. Whatever, who owns who, I'm not. Whatever. That's not really the point of this. But um, 2015 ran it for 15 and 16, and then the new Walker in 2017 is in that trailer, and it has like 1,800 hours on it. And some miscellaneous, stupid problems. No, nothing crazy, but it's still in there, turnkey, ready to go. Yeah. Which is the one you guys see in the videos, the older one, and then the new one's in the mowing rig somewhere right now cutting grass. But um And then this one they have the hydro pumps are separate mm -hmm. and they're on top, right? With wheel motors. With wheel motors. So you can replace whichever you have to. We don't really have problems with the walkers. They have the stupid little fans, the yeah. plastic fans that um you get a stick or you get a clump of grass in there, it's gonna take the fan and then it could overheat. You gotta keep a really sharp eye. We keep a ton of those in stock just for our flips that we do and um, just for the mowers that we have. So we just don't want to have a $10 fan to take out an $850 hydro. So we just keep them in stock at all times. Um, I don't know, what are we gonna do? We're gonna power wash them or are we gonna yeah. see if they crank first? Well, you wanna tell them what we paid for them? Thousand bucks. Right? Thousand bucks for the pair. You can tell that obviously this one has lower hours. It's nicer. Yeah, it's a little bit nicer. But I mean, look at the difference in the the green moss kind of growing this is all going to come off though it's going to look no, beautiful I know that, but in terms of like this one was used more recently obviously yeah, yeah. than this one look at the decks kind of beat up and rusty I'm assuming this one's a little bit older but just by look at the color of the fuel tanks how much cleaner this yeah. one is um we're not going to go crazy if this one needs way too much work we'll sell it as a parts machine with this one i'm assuming right yeah we'll make one one at least the, the goal is go. to get them both working yeah um and see what it looks like all power washed up and go through everything but uh this one's for sure going to be the main one that we spend most of our time on yeah um we're going to need a seat a cover i don't yeah. know what what is this that looks what, like a boat seat what yeah what is going on that's definitely what that is <laughs> it's uh yeah they're both the seats are both shot maybe we can find a used one on the computer yeah or anyone watching has a used one for sale and would like to ship it to us or maybe you're local we'll come pick it up um, but let's see what happens first. You're probably thinking we're crazy just from a standstill. Why'd yeah. you pay a thousand bucks for they two pieces like, of junk? They look like crap, but from sitting. They're going to clean up nice. It's because they bought a new one after so many hours. Uh, they probably bought these at the same exact time and used that one maybe for the smaller properties with the 42. And just put more hours on it. And then just, hey, five, six years later, let's buy a new one. And yep. then he's just sat there. Um, my opinion, everybody should cycle their stuff every five years anyway. And sell them as soon as they're done with them so they don't sit. You'll get more money for them if they're running in really good shape other than putting them under a tree for five years and then deciding to sell them yeah. when they're 10 years old. Um, not too sure how, I mean, there's a sticker on the Kohler motor. We could probably tell what year the engine is. Yeah, probably. Um, but needless to say, leaves are right around the corner and these machines are hot. Everybody wants them. And they work great. When the belts don't fall off, they yeah. have more suction power, I believe, than the walker. Just from personal experience of actually using this. Um, but the design has a couple little issues and the belts were just driving me absolutely crazy and I was sick and tired of busting up my knuckles trying to line them up. Um, every single week almost, they just kept falling off and it was two different dealers getting fixed under warranty and they knew what they were doing. It's just the design of two single belts. I don't like it. The walkers got that one big fat belt that you don't have to do anything to it ever. Maybe adjust the, the thing a little bit, maybe after it breaks in a little bit, but that's kind of it with the belt. Uh, enough talk. What are we doing? We're going to jump them first or are we going to power wash them? Let's power wash them because there's yeah. a lot of crud under there. Yeah, we'll get them out here. We'll blow off all the gunk first and then we'll power wash them. Yeah. And we'll get rid of this boat seat. Yeah. Is this like screwed in, you think, from the bottom? Yeah, probably. Yeah, but look, this one works. 
the seat. Yeah, yeah. This one doesn't look that bad, to be honest. It's, it's just dirty. It's gonna look it's brand got, new once you power wash it. Yeah, leaves and crap on it. Yeah, look at this. Sell it when you're done with it. Don't leave it for another five years and then decide, oh, I'll sell it. The value is gonna go way down. But hey, that's where we come in. We can find these things for a thousand bucks for the pair. And just watch to the end of the video we'll, what, for what they look like. Um, so you don't think that we're crazy. We're probably still crazy to some people, but that's fine. This makes a good video. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, these things look way better. A little bit of dirt on the, the mower deck, you know, some of the chipped paint, but wow, this one looks really good. This came out fantastic. This was all brought back to life. The gas tank was shined up. Power washing does amazing things. This one looked like crap when we started too, and this one looks even better. Some of this stuff is permanently stained, I think, but the the catcher came out good. The gas tank looks bright. The wheels look good. This one actually looks pretty good. We just got to deal with the seats and then I think we'll be okay. The mower decks came out good. Very happy with that. That looks amazing. And now just as we finish washing up out here, we got a nice little rainstorm coming in. So we're gonna have to take a, an indoor break for a sec. This is the yellow version of those mowers. This is called the walker mower. What are you doing to it? The, uh, the throttle and the choke cable are just kind of stuck from uh, the rainwater, I guess, getting down them and they're not working very well. So we're replacing them with new ones. This machine already got power washed. It's a, what, what year is it? It's a 2003, so it's 20 years old. How many hours? 3,100 hours on it. It's not horrible for being 20 years old. Our new one is only a year and a half and has 700 something. Yeah, do you think this is the original motor or no? I'm going to say possibly because it's got the old style top on it. Good fins on the hydros for keeping them cool. The blowers needs to be painted, but it has no holes in it. You can uh -huh. see here, this is what we were talking about with the chute though. The chute going through the seat. Yeah. And the platform, these tend to rust out if you don't clean them up. Yeah. Um, but this mower, what did we pay for this? 300 bucks. 300 bucks. And it needs, we power washed it, we changed the oil. Basically just cleaned it up. It came with these good tires on it that have, we've had this thing for over three months and they all hold air completely fine. We're I mean, just getting around to it now, but it's the perfect time. Yeah, I was specifically pushing it to the side because we know mm. we can get more money for it closer to leaves. Yeah. Um, I honestly would probably trust this thing to go out for us as a backup mower, like tomorrow. Like if we needed it for the day tomorrow, I think it would work fine. Yeah. Um, and after the throttle cables, it doesn't need anything else, right? No, uh -huh. And what we were we- Change the fuel filter. Oh, we put a new battery, I think, in this too. Oh, no, we didn't. We didn't. No, no. we didn't. But uh, what do you think we're gonna sell it for? Uh, we usually get a, we usually get a minimum of two grand for walker mowers, regardless of the hours and the shape, as long as they're operational. Yeah. Um, but with leaves right around the corner, maybe we can squeeze 2,500 bucks. Yeah. Um, That's a good payday out of this thing. Yeah. Um, once again, it, it's sitting here, as it sits, it's completely operational. It doesn't need a thing. If you want to go buy a new one, you're looking at 15 all the way up to 20 something thousand depending on what model you pick 2500 bucks for two grand we make a good profit but whoever gets it is getting it for like a sixth or a seventh of the price of a new one so uh 
You yeah. can't really go wrong on either end. Yeah. Like, yeah, if you're going to run this 40 hours a week, you're going to need to maybe put better gearboxes on it. Um, they're a little bit wet, but they have fluid in it, and they're not really leaking. And there's just a little bit wet. It's seeping maybe through the gasket a little bit. But uh, the mower deck's not really that worn on the sides. It's 20 years old. I mean, what are you, what are you going to expect? It to look brand new? Yeah. That yeah, looks good. Maybe the hydros need to be done? Who knows? I mean, right as it sits here right now, it, the hydros are in perfect shape and it runs and drives fine. But uh, maybe next year, one of the hydros might get tired. We don't know because we haven't had this thing forever. We don't know the relationship with the hydros, if they were serviced or not. They're completely full of fluid. Um, I mean, someone will buy it. Yeah, to go out and just start making money. I mean, even if you're buying this as your first mower, it'd be good. Do they come out as a pair? No, they're just zip tied together. And there's also the clip holding it in. This clip goes to the transaxle. The, mm -hmm. uh, I guess you call it the, yeah, the transaxle. But uh, now they should be uh, They're just beat. Yeah. Um, they weren't working very well. But what stinks is, the new cables don't come with the actual mount. You gotta switch it over. Mm -hmm. Which is annoying for, for the extra whatever dollars. Just, I'd rather just buy it done. We have to switch out the... You gotta bend the little metal bracket, yeah. right? Um, no big deal. The question for today's video though is, are you gonna be ready for leaves? And you're seeing all this leaf equipment in today's video that we're getting ready to sell. Next up, we're gonna be looking at this leaf loader. But yeah, now's the time. I mean, people are starting to think about this stuff. And it's going to be here before you know it. The mini ratchet is over there already. Uh, and then another point we want to throw out there. Uh, there's always going to be a hater in the room. There's always going to be someone that has something negative to say. We're getting a couple comments about they don't want to see us flipping stuff anymore. They want to see landscaping videos. <laughs> um, did we give up on landscaping? No. That's our main business right now. And uh, our dad's out cutting grass as we speak. And we do all the side work. We do, leaves are coming up. We're gonna be going full force with videos every single day on leaves. Um, aerating. What? And we're gonna aerate tomorrow. Yeah, aerating, so we got two videos coming up on that. Um, but we do this because it's profitable. And uh, you know who you are who's been watching. If you don't, if you don't like us watch, doing the flips, don't watch. <laughs> it's, <laughs> Completely fine by us, but uh, no, yeah. we're not done with landscaping. I know Jim's not very fond of lawn maintenance, and neither am I. It's yeah. part of the business, and every other aspect of the business, I'm actually, I love it. That's why yeah. I do it. Um, Trust me, yeah, I didn't sign up for this to be cutting, cutting grass. I said that from day one. I mean, I said I'm not, in the long term, I'm not going to be cutting grass. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm in this to be a, a business partner, to be a, to bring a benefit to, to this collective unit as, as what we're calling the business. Everything mm -hmm. that we're doing to be an asset, so. But I mean, in terms of landscaping, this is landscaping related. Yeah. This is landscaping related. The Honda mower is landscaping related. The engines out of the golf course mowers are landscaping related. Maybe we're not using them for landscaping, we're using them for flipping. Um, but that's our benefit because we know the market for it. Yeah. We know what these people are gonna pay for them. And, uh, and we know how to work where did on I them. Put the, uh, I'm talking and working at the same time. Um, what's it called? Uh, what was I going to say? I, uh, I had a thought in my head that someone commented and we read all the comments and we, if they're positive, great. If they're negative, it doesn't really matter. We don't really <laughs> care. But just like someone yeah. said, the, uh, not, they're not all impressed with the flips at all. Guess what? We don't really don't care. <laughs> yeah. We're not doing this to impress anyone. We're just doing this to show you guys as our viewers like all the different things that we find and all the cool finds I mean, look at this sweeper thing we would have never bought it unless the price was right and it's, we're gonna make money off of it but we're not doing this to hey look i can change the throttle cable or i can rip this engine out we're not doing it to impress anyone it's not the whole point of this it's just to share hey maybe this would help someone do the throttle cable if they're watching the video being that you have to switch it or yeah. maybe this would help someone we're about to clean the carburetor on this thing give it some fresh fuel and give it a good tune maybe that'll help yeah. someone uh, yeah, we're gonna make money on it, but we're not doing it to show off and like impress anyone. That's not why. <laughs> and then maybe when we we give you guys tips and tricks a lot of times, what to look for on these things. Mm -hmm. If you're going to buy one, they're they're 
There's and just when, little things you pick up on when you see a, a lot of them. See, it stinks because you got to separate the metal and you got to pop the cable out. I wish they could just give it to you as a whole unit, which I'm sure you can, but this was just an eBay find for these new, they're OEM cables, but. Oh, and also, before I forget to say this, back to the point of what I was saying, the similarities and differences between these two machines with the navigators out there. You see, like I said, the motor's facing 90 degrees clockwise, basically. It got rotated. All the belts are over there. Uh, the big belt especially is down there. And the muffler's facing the driver's side. The only thing I don't like about that, though, is if you back up into the trailer the wrong way, the muffler can burn stuff. Mm -hmm. It's in a bad spot. That's true. You put it up against a tire of another machine in the trailer, Yeah, can give it a big giant bubble that's going to pop. Uh, I'm also thinking about 500 things right now, so I'm not really too focused on the style cable like yeah. it should be. Who is that? Here comes another cop car, Chevy Suburban. Uh, you can't park all this stuff here. No problem, it'll be out of here by next week. Yeah, stay tuned for that one. We'll just leave it at that, right? Yeah. And if you're not impressed with what we're doing, just stay tuned because you will be impressed very shortly. Yeah, and leave it at that. Don't give we will leave it. Yeah, we won't give too many hints. We always have something up our sleeves. While Steve's snagging that phone call, the one thing I do want to address too about doing stuff like this is Facebook Marketplace driving me crazy. It's driving me insane. Uh, there's, It's good to be selling stuff for money. We're, we're going to... You said we got something up our sleeve, but Facebook Marketplace is driving me insane for selling some of this stuff because people don't read the description on this stuff. Uh, they ask 4 million questions rather than just come look at it. If they come look at it, they're not really intending on buying it. They're just wasting your time. You know, things along those lines and they're haggling on price, showing up and even though it's a fair price to begin with and all that, all that good stuff. But... It's just, it's people, these people think that they're the only person interested in your item, which is driving me crazy because I get anywhere between 50 and 100 messages when I post stuff for a good price. And I want the first person to come and buy it with cash with no questions asked, show up, bring me the cash and you can take it away. Leave it at that. If, when I get 50 people messaging, I'm not answering the same question 50 times about is what's this doing, is this, good or is this bad or uh, stuff like that no, no no if there's 50 people messaging me the only person i'm going to answer is the first person who shows up because i have like we said we got time time restrictions this stuff all costs time uh especially like selling stuff like this or you know if, if it's for sale for two grand the first person to come and get it for two grand is going to get it and we'll leave it at that because these people they think that they're the only person buying it and they'll say i'll pick it up on saturday i'll pick it up on monday and that's a week from now. And no, that's not, it's not gonna be here, it's gonna be gone. You're not the only person looking at it. You're in competition because there's only one of these for sale for that price. So you're either gonna come get it right now if you really want it, or you're not gonna get it at all. So uh, people, people are having a hard time understanding it. That's why Facebook just drives me bonkers, I hate it. Um, it's good for selling some stuff, but other stuff it's just, no, it's not working out. You work on that. I'll talk about this this cop car. The cop car is going for sale today. It uh, we took the the light off the top, and it's gonna be. I don't know what we're gonna ask for this, but we might even put it up for bid. But it's a it's a nice looking car. It's got a hundred and thirty eight thousand miles. Full window tints. Uh, tires are in good shape. The, the, the whole car, it works. It needs nothing. It needed a starter and it needed a battery. We did the battery. We did the starter. Starts right up and it's a good vehicle. It's fleet maintained, obviously, but that one will be going out for sale. On for sale today, but... On for sale? On, that doesn't even make sense. But anyways, for sale. for sale, online for sale today. You know what's funny? It only has 138,000 miles, and they list it as having approximate 150. So it's even better for us that it's in the 13s versus the 14s or 15s. Yeah, and it's only 10 years old. Yeah. Um, 
hey, once again, we're not bragging that we're buying all this stuff for X amount of dollars and making all this money. It's the whole point. Yeah. Uh, bills these nowadays for a mortgage, for filling your truck up with, I mean, you name it, bills are expensive. Yeah. Uh, so this is what we're doing to pay the bills. <laughs> Okay. You got them in? Oh, uh, yeah. So one, that's one retainer for both? Yeah. And give it a start, right? It's raining. It's pouring. This is like July, August, like thunderstorm. Yeah, what the Almost heck? The oh. Oh. I thought we had another minute. Yeah, it's all we needed. Oh. Look at the steam coming off of the thing. Yeah. Oh. I guess I'm gonna go get a drink. Yeah. Two. Got our trailer all hooked up, ready for aerating tomorrow. I'm excited to use the aerator. Me too. Um, we, you don't, I don't get, I never get tired of flips. I get tired of landscaping, but every, every other landscaper gets tired. Middle of the summer, they get burnt out. Just dealing with people, maybe uh, it's hot, a lot of rain this year. Uh, there's always something with landscaping that you can complain about or just need a break from, which is why we mix in the quads and, not the quads, the flips. Cause it could be a quad, it could be a lawnmower, it could be a cop car it could be a loader i mean you could do it's all it varies so it's not one thing it's not going to cut grass every single week the same exact thing or go do the same trimming job we do every single year it's something different every time uh i, I don't get tired of flipping yeah i don't either like i said something different so it's like a breath of fresh air every time you take on a new project um but aerating i'm very very excited to use the new aerator uh, make some good money using that uh, machine it's a expensive piece of equipment, but uh, we're really looking forward to using it tomorrow. Jim's gonna get some good footage. And um, what do you say? Half of them are aerating and overseeding, and then the other half is just aerating? Yeah. Based upon the price of the seating, I probably would prefer just to aerate, just stand on the machine and run around and let the machine do the work and not seed. Um, so basically our, our overseeding prices is the cost of the seed, and then I'll just a little bit, not too much. Um, it's too expensive. It's just too expensive. People aren't signing up for it, but we can make an extra X amount of dollars over there seeding. Most people aren't going for it, which is a shame because it's a great time to seed your property. Um, get some new growth in the uh, newly uh, not compacted soil. But uh, aside from that, you'll see that in the next video. We got everything done we needed to do, and it's raining. Um, I'd say this. Walker's good to go. Yeah, that's. Uh, oh, Jim's going to edit all this out. I believe there's a different cable. I said the cable, throttle cable and the choke cable are the same. Well, I forgot the last time I did a, one of those cables was a couple years back. And it was probably already in stock on the shelf from another piece of equipment um, that we parted out or whatever. But there are two different cables I just found out. With the lengths, the choke cable doesn't reach. <laughs> so that's just a stupid rookie mistake on that. But uh, I don't know. Whatever, it is what it is. As it says there, the choke's unhooked because it doesn't even need the choke to start right now. And it works, it's a solid machine. Um, 1-800, no, I'm just kidding. Um, you'll see it on Facebook. Um, what are we gonna do with this? I just spray right. some starting fluid and make sure, see if it takes over. We'll wrap the video up. I'm gonna assume it needs a carb clean. It's got what, fuel is, in it. what does it smell like? It's bad? Yeah, old It's fuel. bad, yeah. Um, did some starter fluid this morning. It's gonna take two seconds. The drain valve right here. Yeah. Uh, you know what? It's the fuel's off. Yeah. So maybe that's good. Well, the fuel's off. That's why it's not running. 
Oh. It's no, don't turn it on. No, oh, it's yeah, yeah. stuck. For, it won't even turn. Yeah. So it's getting fuel in. I don't think it's getting fuel out. So maybe the carb's okay. Maybe we just got to drain the tank. Yeah, look at that. It's still fuel. It'll still burn. So maybe it just doesn't have fuel in the carb because the fuel's off, which is a good thing. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, there's the... Oh, that's disgusting. That's all crap. It sounds like it's going to start. Oh, yes. There we go. Come on. It just needs to stop flow, right? The float's stuck. It's not allowed unless it's just because we're in here. Yeah. It's very smart, but whatever. It runs. Yeah. It'll run. We'll get back to it. Yeah. Uh, final thing. I think I asked this probably almost a year ago to the day because it's time to replace the work boots. Yeah. What? Did we ask a question in this video for everyone's opinion? No. What does everybody run for work boots? Um, whether it's expensive, not expensive. I've been running these for the past 10 years. They're 50 bucks from Walmart, and they last a year. Let me see the old ones after a year of work. But um, the hate comments that your boots are more worn and that we don't work hard enough and all that stuff. But this is what they look like after a year. They start to split. <laughs> yeah. I could probably go buy a nice two, $300 set of work boots that last a lot longer. And these are used every day to do stuff like this. And landscaping work, of course. So this has been on all the spring cleanups and all the fall cleanups last year. But for 50 bucks, I have problems with my feet. So my, my left foot's a size of 12. Yeah. My right foot's a size almost 13, 12 and a half. My feet are two different sizes and they're completely flat. Um, really flat footed. Um, I've had problems with my toes and stuff. Broken toes from work and whatever. And I've been through a million different boots up until 10 years ago or so. And these are just insanely comfortable. I don't know what it is about them. And they last a year, that's all you get. Maybe you get 10 months out of them and I stretch it to a year. But uh, they're just very comfortable for my feet and they're 50 bucks. Um, so I don't know. What is everyone running for their work boots? I just get a size 13 because I can't mix them up. I can't get a 12 and a half for both foot. Uh, they don't sell these in 12 and a half, but I've had good luck with these and they're comfortable and they're steel toe and they're cheap. Um, I guess this goes against my saying of just buy the right thing and be done and not yeah. replace it. Just get it, spend money to make money. Uh, but for me with my feet, these have worked. I don't know. What, what's your guys' favorite brand of work boots? How much are you spending for them? How long are you getting out of them? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback down below. And uh, maybe in a year when these break again, I'll look into another brand. Um, uh, what's that going to wrap this one up? Right? That's it, yeah. I'm going to oh. put this by this because we got the gas can in the morning and the blower needs to go with this. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, we'll get some, we'll get to aerating tomorrow. And there's another big surprise. Well, there's actually, they didn't even see Jenna's car yet. So we got to film that first. Yeah. Okay. Jenna's new car, but we'll get to that. And yep. one of these upcoming videos, you may have seen it in the background, but we'll get to it. We'll get to it. But, uh, and then there's a big surprise, a big, big, yeah. big surprise that, coming. Uh, that's going to involve this garage being completely empty. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. We'll end the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. We're almost hitting 5,000 subscribers too. So if you guys haven't subscribed, we greatly appreciate it. And we should be doing a live some point in the next couple weeks, right? Yeah. Still getting the office put together, but we're so busy with all this other stuff. But we are definitely going to do a 5,000K subscriber um, milestones. And we'll do a giveaway for it on the live stream. Yeah. Friday or Saturday night. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.